this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with Ollie from BD Outdoors. We are out testing coasters, doing some reviews on some amazing glasses. By the way, you can get them in prescription too. I don't know if everybody knew that, but you can at SportRx. So uh, you brought three different types of rigs out here and I'm just curious, what are the differences? What are the similarities? Why would you use one over the other? Uh, enlighten me, I'm new at this. Well, first off, you gotta have a bunch of rods and reel on your boat just to look cool. Oh yeah. Like, that's square one, right? Yes, one That's one of the things one. people always laugh at fishermen for is why do you have so much gear? And actually there is a reason for it. We're gonna fish today a few different ways. Bait fishing, first and foremost, we're very lucky to have live bait fishery here that we just buy. We don't have to go catch it. They're gonna wow. fill our well up and that's gonna be our, our primary way of fishing. But there are times when you just need other tactics. Bait isn't working, you wanna do something different or whatever. This is a simple bait rig, got braid on it with a short fluorocarbon leader and a hook. Another way that we fish these fish a lot of times we won't visually see them, but I'll see them on my electronics. I know they're underneath the boat, mm -hmm. 100 feet, whatever. This style of lure here, it's called a flat fall. And what it mimics, you can see it's got an eyeball on, it's got yeah. some scales. It mimics a bait fish that's been wounded, fluttering down to the bottom. So this thing will just kind of flutter under the boat and it'll go deeper. I'm gonna fish the surface with bait, and then this right here is gonna let me fish down 150 feet, 200 wow. feet. And they'll see this thing swimming by and it's just like a taco drifting past your head. You can't say no, right? It's I right can't. there in front of you. I can't either, <laughs> I can't either. So that's another way that we're gonna fish these fish. And then the final way is probably the most fun of it all. Ooh. This is the popper rod. Now these have really gained popularity in California. This was not that popular until just a few years ago. And with these bluefin tuna that have shown up, they really, really like the popper. And all we're gonna do with this, it's real simple. We're using a spinning reel here. Easy to cast, easy to use as a Pen Slammer 3. We're gonna use a seven and a half foot Carnage 2 rod and then a Nomad brand popper. And so we'll see these fish up on the surface. And that's again where the coast has paid dividends. You can see farther, see more clear. When we see them, I'm gonna put you on the bow. We're gonna roll up on them and you're gonna throw this into the fray. I am? You're just gonna, yeah, you can do it. Okay. You can do it. You can jerk it and then wind it a little bit and you will see that tuna come up out of the water and eat this thing. Wow. It is one of the coolest things you'll ever see. I'm, and it's just a fun way to catch fish. We gotta do that. We're gonna do it, man. All right, nice. Well, if you have any more questions, you can always leave a comment down in the comment section. If SportRx doesn't know the answer, we'll find Ollie and get the answer for you guys. Or you can email info at sportrx.com. If you need a pair of Costas in prescription or with a bifocal or just regular, you can get them at sportrx.com. See you later.